I want to thank you, Anna and Roman, for all your hard work you've done. You really helped me, and I wish you success in the future. And I wish also success for all the students that will start this program. And I really hope they will get the result they want to get. Uh, I'm stuttering not, not much at all, but I stutter sometimes and it's uh, making me nervous, anxious. I want to get rid of it. Uh, repeating of the uh, beginning of the word sometimes. Can't say it normally. I need to, to pause, uh, take a deep breath, and then try to say uh, uh, that I can speak normally. But uh, when I when I think about it, uh, I I start to stutter that. Okay. And also, it happens more when when I'm speaking with authorities or with girls, for example, or uh, to, to people which I don't know, mm. which I have uh, seen for the first time in my life. Uh, I feel uh, not comfortable enough with, with that problem. How my job is uh, my job is radio operator on the ship, so I need to talk on the radio. So I want to talk to and nice. Is that your job? Yes. Wow! So you talk on the radio? Yes. Okay. And uh, what do you expect from the class? I expect to speak uh, uh, more fluently without stutter. I expect to speak uh, the same I, as I was speaking for about two years ago. Okay. So when did it start, the problem? When did it for start? About two years ago. What happened? Uh, I was going for a job interview and then I said uh, to the chief that I'm stuttering. I don't know how it went to my head that I'm stuttering, but I said it to him and after that I started to stutter. Do you have any specific words or letters that are more difficult than Yes, others? I have. I have some letters. It's T, P, uh, N, and Elga. Sorry for the thing. <laughs> so let's go to your trouble areas. And first, open okay. the dictionary uh, where words begin with your difficult letters. Okay, I found it. Mm -hmm. Letter T. T, 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 terrible, test, toy, T, toy shop. So, so it's much easier for, for me to, today to read this. Read is more uh, easier than talk. Okay. Uh, the man is saying that uh, the woman needs to get back to the to the museum of arts of modern arts. It's kind of hard to contact really. The man is talking about that he forgot the, forgot about his business. It's kind of hard for the first time to come into uh, TV. They're going to go uh, Maybe I can ch change the channel. I'm happy about it. And also, I am started to learn how I need to speak correctly and I need to speak a little bit slower than it was usual before I, I started to take the class because I need to improve my speaking skills. It was easy for me to read the book. It was a little bit harder to tell what I have read because there was some words which I didn't understand. What were the words that you didn't understand? Deviant, 
I don't know how I pronounce it well. Defiant. Okay. And anything else? Goner. I thought that is Ghana. Ghana. Uh huh. Ghana. Also, the expressions like her mouth turning down. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. When you don't know what the words mean, it's kind of hard to remember, right? Yes. Okay. But other than that, how was the quality of your speaking? It was very nice. Yeah. So are you pleased? I... Are you pleased with the quality of your speech now? Yes. Okay. I think it's with the quality of my speech. What is the day of the program today? Day number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. The day, final day. Yes. So yesterday, after the class, I went with my girlfriend and my two friends to walk in the park with my dog. Also, I talked with three friends from my job. Also, I talked with the guard at the entrance to the docks and it was nice. I was talking with nice uh, and smoothly. Also I talked with my family's friend from Germany. I was asking him a couple of questions. And I felt good. Also, we went after park to the cafe. We bought some cafe. And it was a very nice day after the class. I was happy and pleased. It was really helpful for me. I understood what I need to do. I only need some more practice. I know with practice, you can do everything. You just need to go for it. I learned how to express different emotions. Anger, excitement, and okay. other emotions. So once again, do you need to calm down before you no. speak? No, you just need to pause and recall. T, yeah, mm -hmm. start from T. Together, Tan took topic towards the pavement pay peaceful fence D okay downstairs doesn't drag Draw, dream, dress, green guy sitting on a bench, now he's standing and now he has blue outfit and he's looking at the calendar, I think, now he's flying at an island on the sky and he's looking, now we see a forest. Lithuanian forests are very beautiful. Tractor is working on the fields. See a river, forests, much trees. Everything is green and beautiful. Firstly, I started to stutter when I was for about three years old. I was a little child and the car almost hit me. I was very scared. I even wasn't talking for a whole week. I wasn't saying that word, no words from me. Then I started to go to the school when I was seven years. And my stutter also came up when I, I was in first grade. I was stuttering one year after I started the school. After the first grade, 
after the summers, summer holidays, I came back to the second grade and I was talking fluent and nice. I wasn't stuttering. So I was living that good life for, for about 10 years. And then I went for a job interview and I said to one person which I was talking to that I stuttered. I don't know why I said that, but I said, and I saw after that interview, I saw that I'm starting to stutter. It is making harder for me to speak because I was telling everybody that I stuttered. I said, hey, I thought, no, I'm stuttering. It was something like that. Because they said at the, the beginning of the job interview that I will need to talk on my new job. So I said, I know maybe I couldn't manage it because I'm stuttering. And that's when it all started. I was searching for a cures. I was going to the speech therapist at Vilnius. Also, I bought a program from that woman. It was breath maker. Oh. Yes. Almost everybody has this breath maker. It's amazing. Okay, tell me about this. I needed to work with this program. I needed to read a book for at least one hour a day. It was taking too much time from me because in the morning you wake up, you go to your job and then you go home and you see it's almost evening. You need to go to rest for tomorrow's day. And then you realize that you need also one or two hours to read a book with this bread maker program. So it was taking too much time from me and I, I haven't seen any results from it. That's the main thing. When you see the results, you are ready to go on and on. But when yes. there are no results, it's kind of discouraging. Yes. <laughs> okay. What so happened? I quit that bread maker. I wasn't using it. I started then to read books. Well, no, I was taking books to my job, reading them. Well, also after reading books loud, I started to do exercises, breathing exercises. Okay. I was doing them. And that's it and one day I was Tell me tell me more about breathing exercises. How did it help? After them I just felt more relaxed. That that's it. Did it help your speech? No, it didn't improve my speech. In the beginning I was thinking that I'm stuttering for one reason. It was my nose. What? Because I have a problems with my nose, I can't breathe it well with hair. <laughs> okay, so do you speak with your nose? <laughs> no, no. After that, I realized that the nose isn't that isn't a nose fault. What muscles do you use when you speak? Yes, I know. I only use my lips and my tongue. That's it. That's all I use. For how long were you doing your breathing exercises? For about two months, two times a day, in the morning and after afternoon on, or in the evening. So what did you do after two months of breathing exercises? What did you do next? I was searching on the internet for the answers and suddenly I saw your site and I started to watch all your videos and then 
has said for me that it would help me to improve my speaking and to get rid of stutter. That's why I'm here. And it's a big decision to pay this much money and to take the class. What helped you to make this decision? I know only one thing about money that money isn't a thing that you must be stressed, stressed full about because you can earn money. You are young, you are just starting your life. You will earn all what you need to earn. Okay. So I think to feel comfortable is much more important. I learned here many important things, how you need to do it naturally because words doesn't exist. You just only need to use your tongue, your lips, and that's what you need to speak well. Really. Also, you don't need to think about the whole sentence that you're going to say. How difficult was it? It was difficult for me because I'm very, you know, <laughs> active person and in the beginning it was really hard for me. I still remember the first day when we started. I was rushing all the time. I improved my skills and I see that it's more easier to talk when you're not rushing things, when you take a pauses, when you concentrate on yourself. It's much more easier to right. talk. Anything else you would like to add to other people who stutter? Because as uh, you told me that you don't mind to inspire others. Yes, so I want to tell for others who okay, has this problem, get rid of it. Just start the class and start living a better life. Because we all serve to live better. We don't need to live with the stutter if we can't live without him. So I don't see a problem. And I want to say that this class really works to improve your speech by the level you want your speech to be at. Choose how good you will be. That's it.